Test, test, mic check, audio check. We seem to be good. Let's jump over to Ableton View. How's everybody doing today? All right, so now I have uh, face cameras. Well, I have one face camera, which is on my laptop, and I have it split so you can see. But my mic is just over here, so when I'm in front of my laptop, I'm not going to be talking to you. So I'll be talking to you when I'm over here. And actually, let's keep the talking to a minimum, because I'm going to be doing a bunch of sampling today. And I'm pretty much just going to record and mess around with this Korg Electribe, which is honestly a super awesome Groovebox-type synthesizer that recently I've only really been using for um, as a MIDI controller. But it's actually a really... It's not as fully featured as something as something that has a keyboard on it, but it's like, it has a really powerful synth engine and a lot of uh, drum samples and different ways you can manipulate samples to be able to write full tracks. And in fact, in the past, I had written many, many uh, kind of scratch tracks, not really necessarily full songs, but some of them were, but maybe I'll even release some of them eventually. Uh, I wrote a lot of stuff on this machine, which is which was a lot of fun before I got into Ableton. And then it all just kind of blossomed from there. So let's get into it. We'll start making some sounds. All right, we're recording. I'm going to turn this mic off now.
Is a. How you doing today, Amanda? Good to see you. pretty awesome today. Thank you for asking. I figured I'd get on and do some some weird stuff and not actually production, but just kind of like making stuff. explain a little bit what's going on here so this on this electribe every one of these oscillators you can select a bunch of different uh, synth sounds and each one is kind of a different wavetable and then the edit knob here determines this the wavetable position so sort of uh, morphs between different waveforms or sort of oscillator sync type stuff. Pulse width, pulse wave. This one's 
sort of a spooky theremin almost. <laughs>
pretty weird. All right, let's stop for a minute. Get that hydration check. I'm going to drink some tea.
What's going on, Five Star? How you doing, man? I am recording a bunch of samples uh, from this Korg Electribe. There's a bunch of wavetables in it, a bunch of like master effects and drum samples and stuff. And you can you can edit them and kind of do all kinds of weird shit with them. I haven't messed around with this thing in a while, except as a MIDI controller. So I'm just gonna get it. I've been recording uh, since we started, but I'm just recording an entire like I don't know, who knows how long ago. A bunch of sound design stuff, and then I can go chop it up later. Wanted to get back into working with this this groove box because it's so much fun. Let's see what else we can do. Dude, I totally feel like feel you on the analog and digital thing. It's a totally different experience having like a hands-on kind of thing where you can grab knobs and stuff. Like if you had a push or like a like my setup over here, I've got this uh, APC40 and the MPD with my keyboard, and I kind of turned it into like a full like an almost uh, full-fledged groove box that has Ableton as the brain. So I, lo I love getting hands-on with stuff, and it, you get different results every single time.
nice one. dig into these, some of these drum sounds and see if we can alter them to make them sound like. these cheesy like old school sounds <laughs>
sometimes all it takes to turn a cheesy orchestra, orchestra stab into something usable is just like to pitch it down a bunch. save this so in case anything crashes I will not have to recover it and then deal with all that shit. Optic, what's going on, my dude? Yes, indeed, I'm sampling a Korg. The wonderful Korg Electribe. Two. I'm not sure of the exact model number, but they call it the two. It's really fun. Let's get back into it. I hope you're doing well, Opti Optic. How are, you, how are you today? And how do my cameras look? Do I look all right? Do I look too scruffy today? Finally got these stupid front-facing cameras working. All right, let's do this. And let's get that smoke break. And hydration check.
Thank you for the host, my dude. Appreciate it. Doesn't everything just sound better pitched down? Dude, this oscilloscope is great. It's called um, uh, Wave Candy. There's a bunch of different meters that come with it. You get a regular like uh, volume or gain type meter, and then you get the oscilloscope. You get a spectrograph that moves like from left to right in time, and it gives you like the it looks like the heat signature type of deal. And then there's also a um, a vector scope, like a left right kind of deal. It's super awesome. It costs like 90 bucks, but it was totally worth it.
actually still have a bunch of weird old projects in here. Let's see if, uh, let's see what this stuff is.
remember how fun jamming on this machine was. Like, I would sit there for hours and compose all these patterns and then just jam. I don't know. It's so fucking great.
Well, that was weird. All right, we're good. We're still recording. Hope you're doing well out there, everybody. I think what I might do now, first I'm going to save this again. And I think I'm going to continue uh, recording here, but I'm going to open up a totally blank session on the Electron.
see uh, get an idea of what the edit knob does on some of the different uh, wavetables like this one kind of folds it kind of like just doubles the wave do classic wubs with hardware.
let's get that hydration check. Thank you.
thing that annoys me about this machine is that there's no hold. Like, I want to just hold this note, and now I have to go get, like, a clamp to hold this note. I'll be right back. Let's try this.
right, so I got like over two hours of material now. That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna save again. And that this is kind of the point where I start to feel a little bit limited by the hardware. We'll keep going for a couple more minutes and see if we can dig up anything else new.
You still out there with me, Optic? I think I'm going to call it, buddy. Got a ton of stuff I can go through here to put into my sample pack. Because I am going to release a sample pack at some point. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too weird or too, uh, I don't know, boring. At some points I got a little bit, bo a little bit bored, but... It was definitely fun to break out this old Electrab again because this was one of the main reasons that I got into or one of the reasons I continued making electronic music at a certain point. Before the Electrab, it was the Korg DS10 on Nintendo DS and before that it was a music generator on PlayStation 1 way back. Well, let me stop this recording. And somewhere in there, I used FL Studio back when it was actually called Fruity Loops. So, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you next time, uh, Thursday, same time, 2 o'clock. And I might even do a secret session later or maybe tomorrow. You'll have to wait and see. So have a nice one, everyone. And